a wider strategy uh, for us to engage more closely with the private sector in the emerging business centres outside of the major metropolitan areas. And in my mind, uh, there is no doubt that Coimbatore is among the top 10 emerging cities in India. And when I look at South India, I know that there are um, qualities about Trivandrum, Cochin, Vishakapatnam, Mysore, Mangalore, but I don't think any of them bring the dynamic approach to attracting new business uh, that Coimbatore does. And I think it makes Coimbatore uh, most likely of all of these emerging cities in India to one day rival one of the metropolitan areas like Chennai, Bangalore, Hyderabad. And I, I can see that it's already becoming a magnet for new investment and a major driver of growth in this region. So the combination of uh, entrepreneurial flair, the strong manufacturing base, the business-friendly environment and the large pool of human resources or an offer make Coimbatore an ideal destination for UK companies that are looking to expand their operations east and as Ravi mentioned we were uh, privileged to be present at an event where one of uh, Ravi's companies was uh, signing a joint venture with a, a, a Manchester based company uh, HMG Paints which was uh, you know, fabulous that that happened while we were here. But one of my messages um, today is that for business in Coimbatore, uh, who are also looking to become more international, the UK is very much a, a top destination. Uh, the British economy uh, looks like it emerged from recession in the last quarter of 2009, and all the signs are that 2010 will see growth returning after a, a difficult 18 months. Um, the UK is the world's sixth largest economy, has recently been overtaken by a small economy um, with 1.1 billion people called India. Um, and it's also uh, the sixth largest manufacturer, which may surprise many given the dominance of the services sector in the UK, but the manufacturing sector remains competitive, very much helped by the price of sterling. The ICT industry is enormous in the UK. It's the largest in Europe and employs over 1 million people and contributes 10% to our GDP. And with six of the top 10 universities in Europe,